Uh, welcome to Shop Dogs How To Videos brought to you by Yard Gear. Easier cutting and less chance of kickback. There's also a, a scratcher tooth blade that's available. It's about the same price as this one and uh, that's, that's available to go on there. If we want to get into uh, just heavy grass, there's a grass blade available here and uh, it uh, kind of looks like this. That can also go on there. Of course, once we get into these blades, we're going to want to move back to our regular guard here. Um, these blades won't fit in underneath that blade, that guard right there. And uh, then we can get into a three-sided blade like this for um, even more tangly material. The three-sided blade or the four-sided blade right there. All steel blades. And uh, what do you think, John? Does that, that look good? Um, so all, all steel blades. And uh, they're very good for uh, uh, cattails, raspberry bushes, just vines, tangly stuff that you can get into. If we're going to cut something a little less than that, but something more than we would cut with our standard uh, trim heads like this, we can get into this one here called a, uh, a polycut head. And that's, that's probably my favorite because it kind of, it does a lot of different stuff. You'd be surprised what those little plastic cutters can do. This is the poly cut head here. As it, as it spins, those plastic cutters will actually fly out and, and cut the material. Um, very little chance of kickback. If that, that were to hit something very solid, the, the, uh, the cutter can, can retract back into the head. If you were to break one of those off, they come in little packages of, uh, of 12, and uh, so you can carry a few of those with you. Very easy, one little screw, you pop one out, pop the next one in. Very simple to use, um, one of my favorites. And uh, a little known feature of these types of heads is that it can actually take a piece of line. So you take a piece that's about, I've got a, a 105 line, that's really thick, um, so it can do a lot of damage. Um, and then you actually poke it in through here, and then out through the other side, um, and in the process, you actually weave it up and around this little tab right here, and then out through the other side like that. And uh, then you've actually got a, a two-line head as well as your cutters, both at the same time. So that's a, that's a great little feature for that one there. 